did you realize that there is something really really wrong with this world and you are the person that needs to acknowledge that right you don't need the president of your country to tell you that there's something wrong with this world you don't need your parents to tell you that there's something wrong with this world you don't need the people you follow to tell you that there's something wrong with you if you feel like this reality is not working for you and you have been doing the right things but it seems like no matter how hard you try things don't make sense that means that there's something wrong with this world stop giving your authority to other people stop allowing other people to tell you how the world is stop allowing other people to impose their beliefs on you you look at the world as if you are the only conscious being in it and ask yourself what do you really see and ask yourself if you are really happy if you are really enjoying your experience and if you are not enjoying your experience what is the problem is the problem with you or with the world right that's a very important question to ask yourself is the problem with you or with the world if you do enough work you stop being lazy you stop giving your power away you start taking yourself seriously you realize that there's something wrong with the world remember you were born without your consent you grew up in this world it was the way that it was to you and you became what you became because of how the world was to you you've dealt with many problems when you were little before you even knew anything right you were dealing with serious problems and you grew up dealing with these problems you were innocent you still innocent so if you are going to be truly honest with yourself you'd realize that there is something wrong with this world and you must take yourself seriously enough to acknowledge that than to just live your life as if everything is okay cuz that's how every person is living their lives we you know we live our lives as if we know what is actually going on you know bad things happen all the time but we pretend as if you know these things actually make sense it's like we desensitized it is beyond obvious now that something is really really wrong if you are having an experience you're not enjoying that experience nothing seems to be making sense everything seems to be upside down there is no happiness people are working together people don't really seem to care about one another the truth is being kept away from everyone realize that something is wrong people are being told what to do they are not free enough to really make their own choices it's few people who are on top who actually make choices for everyone and these people are not really affected by the decisions that they make for others take yourself seriously enough to acknowledge when something is wrong than to just you know live your life like you're just an animal i mean if you really want to say that you are more conscious than these animals that uh, you think are dumb then 
act like it act like you are more conscious than them because most people are acting like these animals there are three things that each and every person should realize especially now if they want to gain power in this world right there are three things if you can realize these things and you know them you will actually be more powerful than you are and what do i even mean by powerful i mean you won't be affected by a lot of things that used to affect you if you can realize these three things that i'm going to be talking about you're not going to be affected by the things that you know ha happen in your life the way that they used to affect you you know, you'd have some power you'll be able to realize when you are being manipulated you'll be able to explain why some things are happening in your life because things just seem to happen you'll be able to explain why these things are happening because it's not okay that things just happen in your life and you just find yourself having problems that you don't know, even know how to solve like life just create problems for you that you don't even want to deal with problems that even after you solve them there's nothing that you gain right it just gives you problems you solve these problems lose you know sp spend a lot of energy solving these problems and there's nothing that you actually gain in the end you just feel a little better that you have actually solved these problems that uh, you you you're facing it's like if someone steals your car may you struggle for months and then you get your car back what what did you even learn oh you buy another car what did you learn you might feel happy that well yeah, yeah i bought a new car you didn't learn anything. Life just created a problem that you solved, but you didn't learn anything. You didn't gain anything from solving that problem. You didn't become a better person. You didn't become more conscious. You didn't become more understanding. You just stressed. Life does that to people. It create problems that are not even necessary. It's not okay that you find yourself dealing with these problems that you didn't even, you know, ask for that you're not even going to learn anything from it's not okay you know you just live in a world that is so messed up that this these problems occur and you you have to deal with them because you don't really have a choice what choice do you have right you are experiencing this world you have desires you have fears If life puts you in a situation where you find yourself facing things that you do not want to face, of course you're going to try to escape, right? If life puts you in a situation where you are afraid, of course you're going to try to escape that situation. If life puts you in a situation where you are uncomfortable, of course you're going to want to escape that situation. What choice do you really have? You can't like switch yourself off. You can't say, "Okay, I don't want to feel scared anymore. I don't want to I don't want to feel anymore." I don't want to stress anymore. I don't want to be in pain anymore. You don't have that option. You see, if things that make you feel pain happen, you're just going to feel pain straight up. You're just going to feel pain. You can't just decide that you're not going to feel pain because you, you know, because it's not necessary, right? There are some things that we experience in this world that make us feel pain, but that pain that we feel is unnecessary. Ever been in that kind of situation where you experience something and you feel pain, but that pain is unnecessary? Like, yeah, I'm feeling pain, but what am I learning from this pain? Obviously, something is wrong. There is no way that we could have wanted things to be this way. Even if we chose to come here, we weren't really informed. 
right? We didn't know what we know now. People have went to places where a lot of bad things happened and they regretted being in those places. Do you think it will make sense to tell a person who's in a place that they regret being in that they chose to be in that place? You chose to be here. You chose to be here. No, that, that they didn't know that things were going to be the way that you know, they are. You know, we, we make choices every day that we end up regretting, but we shouldn't be made to feel like, oh, just because you made that choice, you know, uh, you, you wanted this, you wanted this. No. So we need to stop with that nonsense. You chose to be here, you chose to be here. I've already explained in so many different ways that It actually doesn't make sense to even think that we chose to be here. But now I'm just trying to show you that even if we did, it wouldn't mean that we made the right choice. It, didn't mean, it wouldn't mean that we were informed. It wouldn't mean that there, there's nothing wrong here. Right? Like even if we knew that we were going to experience something similar to this it doesn't mean that there's not, nothing wrong you can choose to be in a place knowing exactly what's going to happen but then things don't really happen in in ways that you expected you know a person can tell you that hey um come to my place you know what's going to be happening we're going to be playing music uh, we're going to be drinking um and then you get to that place and they are playing music they didn't lie but the music really sucks and, uh, you know, the alcohol that they're drinking, you don't like that kind of alcohol. Like, just because someone told you what was going to happen doesn't really mean that it's going to happen exactly as they, they say it's going to happen or the way that you imagine it will happen. Right? So let's stop with that you chose to be here nonsense and start being real about what conscious beings are going through because this is not okay you know this is let's stop lying to ourselves let's stop pretending as if we understand what is going on let's stop pretending as if this makes sense this is not okay bro people are truly going through hell you know and they have they have no idea Uh, some of them don't have any idea that they actually like they know they're going through hell but they they, they don't even like they're not even programmed to understand the kind of mess that they are in right it's like if you keep your cat indoors it, it doesn't get out at all and it, it wants to get out it, it it doesn't even understand freedom like what freedom is like you just keep it in a small space it doesn't even get to like walk around freely like that it doesn't really understand that if what freedom is like it doesn't understand that it's in deep shit because it sucks that it's just born and it's just gonna be in one place and that's all that it will ever know right as a as a human you have a lot of desires you don't want to be stuck in one place you don't want to you know work a shitty job you don't want to be stuck in a classroom you don't want to read books that you're forced to read because if you don't read these books you're not going to pass at school and you're not going to get a job you don't want that right But we're so used to this that it it it's normal. Do you think that if you tied a dog to a tree when it looks like still a puppy and it and you don't you don't you don't untie it? Do you think it will really understand what freedom is? 
of course it's gonna bark sometimes it's gonna be sad sometimes you know i've, I've had dogs barking like crazy because they they, they they're tied to a tree or something. They're bagging like crazy. But it doesn't really understand what freedom is. It doesn't understand that what is happening to it is really that fucked up. Like, it knows it wants freedom, but it doesn't really understand that what's happening to it is messed up. That is why even if you one day you decided to let, to let it free, it will still love you, right? Not understand what you were doing to it. So that's how we are as humans. Like, we don't understand what's really being done to us. We don't realize we're being controlled in so many different ways. Um, we're being lied to in so many different ways. We are we are being indoctrinated in so many different ways. We're not allowed to truly be free. We're not allowed to, to truly speak our minds. We don't understand what's being done to us. And people like to think they are better than animals. You look at chickens and be like, ah, that's stupid. Do you think the people who are running the world look at us and be like, yeah, they're smart? Or they look at us and be like, damn, we, we gonna, we're really going to enjoy. Because they, they're, not, they're not capable of seeing what is actually going on. We have done our jobs very well. When people become angry because of what they're going through, we'd say, yeah, you, you, you know, you, you, you need help. You need help. He's like, what? Do you understand that we are in a world that we really don't understand? <laughs> Bro, you don't know anything. And do you want to blame someone for screaming sometimes, for being angry sometimes? How, how are people supposed to feel? Think about it. They are in a world that they truly don't understand and they're dealing with lots of problems, you know. They didn't ask to do this kind of problems. They don't know what's going on. They, they're just here. They see the sun goes up in the morning. They see the moon. They see the stars and all that. Uh, they're told that there are planets. and But they don't know anything, really. Like, you can't really know anything for sure. So, so it makes sense sometimes that some people will become super angry sometimes and they will scream sometimes or have a mental breakdown sometimes, you know. Like, oh, you're mental ill, you need help. Like, no, they're dealing with a world that they don't understand and that might not be making them feel the way that they want to feel, you know find that they're experiencing the opposite of what they desire to experience. You find that the lows are too low, but their highs are not that high. Like they're experiencing more messed up things than they're experiencing good things. And the good things that they're experiencing are not even like really good things, really. It's just what they're already used to. They're just suffering. And some people think you must have a positive mindset. Like, hey, man, don't don't teach people to be fake. You know, people feel the way that they feel. They feel the way that they feel for for a reason. All right, so that they they, they will realize when something is wrong, when something is off. You know, if you are being mistreated and you don't feel okay, no one should come and tell you that. Yeah, you know, you should just change your mindset. Like, no, you are being mistreated, so of course you shouldn't be feeling okay. So there are three things that you must actually realize in order to feel, you know, more powerful than you feel if you already feel powerful. If you feel, feel totally powerless, you'll feel, you'll feel a bit powerful after realizing the things that I'm about to tell you. Now, it is important to forget all the things that you think you know because the people that you trusted to tell you what this is, never really told you what this is. You know, some of them were brainwashed. Some of them just didn't want to tell you what this is. You know, you think the people who have power, who approve what you, who approve what children should be taught, they, they really wanted you to 
know what this is. So some of the people that you trusted to tell you what this is, they didn't want you to know what this is because you knowing what this is is going to set you free. Knowledge is power. Don't forget that. It's through knowledge that you're going to set yourself free. There's no other way, right? The same way that you don't want to let your chickens free is the same way that they don't want to let you free. So they're going to keep the knowledge that can set you free away from you. They're not going to tell you what you need to know to set yourself free. The first thing that you must realize, and like I said, forget everything that you think you know. Open your mind. What's really, really possible. Right. Forget everything that you, you think you know. The, the world is not what it seems, all right? It's never been. It will never be. So, no matter how crazy what I'm about to tell you will sound, keep an open mind. See if it really makes sense. That's all. Like, the truth will always be what makes sense. Right, let's just something that you must realize the truth will always be what makes sense, even if it doesn't make complete sense, but it must make sense. So, to get to the truth, you follow what makes sense, and when you find yourself having more questions, figure out what makes the most sense. Find yourself having more questions, figure out what makes the most sense, and you keep on seeing things as they really are. Right, so do not worry about. How I like know the things that I'm telling you. Now, even if I said, "Hey, uh, some aliens told me," you'll be like, "You're crazy." But even if some aliens really told me what I'm about to tell you, and you knew that these aliens told me what I'm about to tell you, it wouldn't mean that it's true, right? Remember, we're being manipulated in so many different ways. So the only way to figure out if something is true is if it makes sense. So there are three things that you must realize in order to gain power in this world. The first thing that you must realize is that not every person that you know is real. Now, this doesn't mean that... You must start treating people badly because you're like, hey, you're not real. You're not real. No, no, no. This doesn't even mean that you must walk around trying to figure out who's real and who isn't. Right? This doesn't mean that you must now stress and have mental health issues and all that. Start accusing people of not being real. No, 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 no. You got to be smart. Right? So the first thing that you must realize is that not every person that you interact with is real what do I even mean I mean that not every person that you interact with has consciousness not every person that you interact with is aware of their existence some of the people that you interact with are exactly like robots right some of the people that you interact with are exactly like robots they are not aware of their existence they are being controlled. They are part of the simulation, they're part of this world. They are only here to make you do what the Matrix wants you to do, to make you believe what the Matrix wants you to believe. If you've watched the True Man show, there was this scene, and I thought it was really like it was a painful scene to watch. Actually, like when True Men was starting to to doubt that the the, the people who were in his life were were were, were real, like when he started to doubt, his friend tried his best to convince. I think he was he was actually listening to what the guy that controlled the whole place was telling him. 
like he put something in his ear and he was able to hear what the guy was saying and he would say to true men that hey i would never betray you so he said something like that yeah if there's someone that you can trust is me you know i knew you since you were little just to convince him that everything that was going on was real i'm telling you that people like that in this world there are people like that there are people who are only in your life to convince you that uh, the world is what it seems so if you step out of line if you start having your own thoughts if you start investigating reality they'll be there to put you back in line like okay yeah that one is getting out of line you must say this you must say that to them the case you're watching my video and be like oh you're watching that guy again in case you're doing some research about reality oh you're doing that again oh that's that's uh that's gonna make you feel depressed I mean, why don't you just go out there and just just have fun, you know, do what we're doing, drink alcohol. Um, I have nothing against alcohol, you know. <laughs> alcohol helped me a lot, so I have nothing against alcohol. I want you all to understand that, you know. I don't want it to seem like I'm now I'm better, you know, than people who drink because now I don't drink alcohol. Like, no, no, no. But there are people in your life who are only in your life to keep you in line. In so many different ways. Right? So some of them will, you know, just make you feel bad for wanting to know the truth. Some of them will just criticize the people who are telling you the truth. Some of them, when it's time for you to realize something, they will distract you. They're being controlled. Receive a call. When something big is about to happen, you receive a call. Hey, come to this place. Blah 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 blah. Hey, you know, ah, you remember that chick that you spoke to the other day that you say you liked? Bro, bro, she's been asking about you. At the time, you're about to discover something, something like really, really profound, something that's gonna help you. Hey, you're like shit, and then you go there. You're being played. Right? This reality is not what it seems. That's why you got to pay close attention to what is happening in your life. To how people behave in your life. To, you know, pay close attention to what people say to you. Pay close attention to when people appear in your life. When people show up in your life. Pay close attention. You, this, this is, this is your, reality is your obstacle. This is your puzzle to solve. You're taking that for granted. You know, you've been taking that for granted your whole life. I mean, you're here. You don't understand what this is. You don't understand why the things that are happening are happening. You just you just live your life like like you, you have an idea what's actually going on. No, this is your puzzle to solve. Try to solve this puzzle. I'm saying pay close attention to what people say to you. Pay Close attention to when people say these things that they say to you. Right? Pay close attention to when certain things happen in your life. Pay close attention to how people make you feel. Pay close attention to all the distractions in your life. Pay close attention to the people that are very close to you. Pay close attention. Always keep an open mind because things are not what they seem. Right? And if you are going to think as honestly as you can, you'd realize that of course they would. Not every person will be real. Like think about it. Eight, eight billion humans. All of them have consciousness. Right? They are aware of their existence. Ever watched National Geographic? I remember the 
there's this other um episode that i've watched where they send decoys into the wow like they send turtles that were decoys and the other turtles accepted them. even mangas they sent mangas that were decoys and other monkeys accepted because they couldn't see you know they weren't able to see that those monkeys were decoys if they can do that do you think they will not be able to to make to to, to create people that you think are, are real they know they have consciousness like you i mean we've been seeing a lot of weird things happening we've seen you know politicians freezing on stage these things don't you know ha- happen like you know what i mean a person is talking and then and talking about something very serious like they, they wouldn't be acting we've seen a lot of weird things happen i remember this is a lot of videos that i've watched and i don't know why people are not talking about this uh, they're not talking about the, that video enough right there's this lady she's, she's she's a celebrity she died i think like maybe five years ago she got involved in a car accident now they they were taking a video from from a chopper you know after like the uh, uh, they 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 uh they risk uh, let me not even say rescued like they took her out of the car they confirmed that she was dead right you know covered her as they were taking her to 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 the um to the other car she woke up and she was like this and then they 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 they, they, they did this to her they put her back like that was crazy first of all that's crazy if something like that happens this means that everyone has to be like oh she's alive and then they try to help her but you know what they did they just they, they, someone touched her head and just put her back and 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 the whole i think she's she's an american celebrity she was an american celebrity and the whole country kept quiet no one said anything like that was strange can you imagine a person that was confirmed dead right it's confirmed that that person is dead they covered that person it's over for them and then somehow that person woke up and started doing this and then they 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 they, they, they didn't even try to figure out what was going on they just put their head back and the whole country says nothing and you want to tell me that this shit <laughs> is what it seems you got to open your eyes we've seen a lot of weird things happening we know what is possible with technology now things that are not supposed to be possible are possible with technology things that people didn't even think would happen 10 years ago are happening no things that we didn't think would be possible are possible now so you got to pay close attention to the things that are happening what i'm telling you is that not every person that you think is real is real now this doesn't mean that you must be paranoid this doesn't mean that you must treat people differently you must feel differently right this is about how you should feel to gain your power back because there will be people who will be sent in your life to to make you feel a certain way there will be people who will be sent in, in your life to make you lose focus there will be people who will be sent into your life like if you think that the things that are happening is real the things that are happening are real what will happen is that when people get sent into your life to say certain things to you you're going to take this thing seriously not even realize that you're being played right but if you realize that oh no no everyone is real so it's very much possible that this person was sent by the matrix you know to make me feel a certain way or to make me do certain things or to make me think uh the way that the, the matrix want me to think so what you must realize and no matter where you go keep that in mind that not every con- person that you interact with is 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 is, 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 is conscious they have the kind type of consciousness that you have right keep that in mind the second thing that you must realize is that the whole thing is controlled it's not random right 
That's the second thing that you need to realize. The first thing that you must realize is that not everyone is real. The second thing that you must realize is that this whole thing is controlled. Things don't just happen. Right? Things ain't happening randomly. Stop believing stories about reality that you've been told. Especially the stories about reality that are being taken seriously by those who have power. Right? Someone came up with some theory that doesn't really make sense. And you find that that theory is taken seriously. That person is famous. Hey, what's going on with celebrities now? Mm, a lot of celebrities will be exposed. That's random, right? That's what you believe. It's all random. It's just... Just happen. It's God that's exposing them because, yeah, they're bad, they're evil. You don't realize that you're being played. You don't realize that all the evil things that were done, the people who had the power to punish these celebrities were doing these things. They would have punished them a long time ago. I've, I've, I remember I, I've told you that as a South African, I knew that Didi was on some effed up shit. And most South Africans knew that. They never try, trusted someone like, like everyone had bad things to say about their guy. And you mean to tell me that the people who have technology to see, you know, things, a lot of things that are going on, technology that we don't have, they didn't know what was going on. And they just realized now what was going on. Like you're being played. There's a reason why someone like Cat Williams, <laughs> hey. there's a reason why someone like Cat Williams said what he said. And that interview, that interview, I think it's like the most watched interview ever, right? And that guy was saying, hey, everyone will be exposed. Everyone is going down. How did he know? Is, is Cat William is a prophet? How did he know? He told us. He told us that his celebrities will be exposed this year. How did he know? This TikTok uh, psychic has been saying that the same thing. You know, lots of TikTok psychics have been saying the same thing. They've been telling us about these celebrities that they will be exposed this year. Even the the prophets. I remember there's this uh, this, this 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 lady. I think her name is Celestial, something like that. She's been saying, you know, that something's gonna happen this year. And she mentioned celebrities by name, and we can see that these things are happening. Before Donald Trump um, got shot, there's a guy who prophesied about that. He's a Christian. He said that he sees Trump getting in the ear. And after that, it's going to become like a, a real Christian. But I don't think uh, that's kind of like working out for him very well. Like he, it's it's not easy for him to like. Maybe that has been that was the plan to get all the Christians to vote for him. But I don't know if that's working very well for him. I think that chick, that Kamala chick, is also you know killing it. <laughs> but the the truth is that uh, we we are being played. Remember, there's this episode of South Park. What was the name of this episode? I forgot the name of the episode, but uh, it's a, it, it was um, it was centered around uh, Obama, like winning the election. Um, after like he won the election, the whole country went crazy. 
<laughs> Randy Marsh went crazy, you know. It's like Obama won, and he started doing some crazy shit, you know. And that's kind of like, and, and, and I remember when I was reading the comments on YouTube, someone said that's how people celebrated when Obama won. Like, it's it's not, a, like, they didn't exaggerate. Like, that's really how people celebrated. But Obama and the guy that he was running against, what is, it, is the guy who's the president now, right? Um, Biden. They shook hands and were like, yeah, yeah, we did. Like, yeah, we, you know, we played our roles very well. Blah, blah, blah. Like, I thought that was funny. But we're being played big time. Even here in South Africa, like, these politicians are friends. Who are being controlled. So, you know, people have to stop taking these things that are happening too seriously. You know, weird things, you know, will happen this year, you know. Probably see aliens, bro. <laughs> I'm telling you. Oh, Jesus is going to come back. But realize that we are being controlled in so many different ways. You know, you must realize that the things that you're being shown, they're not, they're not what you think, you know. The religions that you were given, they're not what you think. You know, you need to be operating at a very, very high level of consciousness so that you gain your power back. So that when things are happening, you, you don't take these things too damn seriously that you are tr truly affected, that you become powerless, right? We are being controlled mm. big time. This reality is being controlled. It's not random. The weather. <laughs> Everything is being controlled. Everything. The world is not what it, you think it is. The world is not what you were told it was. All right? Why would it be what you were told it was? Like, think about it. Let's say it was what you were told it was. Do you really think that you wouldn't need to know some secrets now if no one was, like, hiding everything? If there weren't someone who, like, re was really that powerful and who can control things for real? We know nothing. We still know nothing. The last thing that you must realize... Is that everything is upside down. Everything. 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 People suffer more when they are right than when they are wrong. Upside down. Speak the truth. You are the bad guy. You lie. You are the good guy. Upside down. The bad guys win. The good guys lose. Upside down. We vote for people who don't care about us. Upside down. Everything is upside down. It doesn't make sense. So, when you are dealing with reality, don't allow yourself to be too damn frustrated because everything is upside down. Like, always know that everything is upside down. You know, don't, don't get to this state where you're like, oh, yeah, um, you know, my things are not working out. Nothing is working out in my life. Uh, no matter what, I, everything is upside down. Everything. So, of course... Things are not going to make sense. Of course, you're going to find yourself stressing without understanding why you're stressing. You know, dealing with problems, not understanding why you're dealing with these problems. You know, the more you try to do the right thing, the more things stop making sense. Because everything is upside down. People who really need help, no one is helping them. People don't need help. Everyone is helping them. You know, people will be there for you when things are going great. And when things are not going great, no one is there for you. Everything in this reality is inverted, right? Everything is inverted. So if you understand that not every person that you interact with is real. If you understand that everything is controlled, if you understand that everything is upside down, when things happen, 
you won't stress too much about these things and some of these things you won't even take them personal as, or even though they're personal because you you're conscious and you're the ones who's, who's experiencing them but i mean if you felt like if you felt like this was real and every person that you interact with is conscious you think you you take things really personal because that would mean that these things that they say they they really mean these things you don't you don't realize that oh these things are just being said so that i'll feel a certain way you know there's there isn't anyone who's actually meaning these things <laughs> it's like of You receive a call from artif some artificial intelligence, and you started communicating with it, and you didn't know it was artificial intelligence. So, and it started insulting you. It started telling you that you ain't shit. It started telling you that um, you deserve to suffer. Blah blah blah, and you start. You you stress right until you realize that oh, it's just AI. And someone maybe programmed it to say that so that you not feel the way that you want to feel. So be as um, observant as possible. You will see this reality is strange. Strange things happen every day. Strange things happen every day. Synchronicities happen every day. The, the synchronicities prove that we are in, in, in a reality that it's controlled. You know, they don't prove anything spiritual. You know, the 11 levels and all that. Don't prove anything spiritual. You know, glitches do happen in this matrix. All right. Because, well, it's it's a matrix. It's controlled. So, of course, there will be mistakes that will be made. It's just that there are ways to um, rectify these mistakes. You know, you get some BS explanation about why certain things happen. You know, if... If there was like a feminine and 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 it, it it got torn, it got torn apart, and we started seeing some shit in the sky, they'll probably come up with some explanation that would make sense. And those who think they're intelligent, they'll be like, yeah, 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 I see, that's so that's what was happening. This reminds me of this video that I reacted to. I forgot the name of the channel, but like it, it's it's that I, like I got the video from. But it, it's it's the the guy is really creative. The video is titled "When You're Obviously in a Simulation." Like if you search for that, it's gonna appear because it has like many views, right? When you're obviously in a simulation. So he check he checked his his watch and it was like it was like five p.m. and then. He checked again and it was 4 p.m. He was like, what? And then he came up with some BS explanation. He got to a point where he had some guys that are actually controlling the simulation laughing at him. Because they accidentally turned on their mic, so they were laughing at him. Like, oh, he's so stupid. You know, like he doesn't realize that he's in the simulation, you know. I made it rain in one spot, and he didn't realize that he's in a simulation. But, you know, he always come up with some BS explanation. He had these people saying that, and then he said, I know what's going on. I'm schizophrenic. <laughs> so, yeah, when weird things happen, what we, we try to find explanations that make us seem intelligent for things, for things that that we don't understand, right? We find explanation for things that we don't understand. This explanation makes us feel like we're intelligent. Like, yeah, this, this is why it happened, you know? It's because of this and that. Like, nah. Some of these things are just glitches in the matrix, bro. <laughs> we experience deja vu. Like, yeah, it, it just happens. No, it doesn't just happen. You remember some things because you're being controlled. So you remember some things that you have experienced, right? That is why you experience deja vu. You didn't experience these things in your dreams. You actually experienced these things. So you remember these things. 
and you're like, ah, it's just deja vu. You know, maybe I, I had a dream that was similar to this, and that is why, you know, I feel like I've been here before. That's why I feel like, you know, some people can even predict things before they happen. Like, you find yourself in a place before, and then you, you, you feel like something is about to happen because you've been in that place before and it happens, and you come up with some BS explanation. We always come up with BS explanation for things. You have um, you have sleep paralysis. You see someone looking at you, and you can't move. That's strange, right? So you see this person. They're looking at you. You can't move at all. You can't scream. You just like. Mm-hmm. And then, after they've left, you, you you wake up, and you're like, oh, yeah, that's just sleep paralysis, and you try to find some explanation for what, what you experience, like, nah. Like, I've, I've experienced sleep paralysis so many times before, and I can tell you that weird things really do happen. I get so you know, be fully conscious about, like, shit, I'm having sleep paralysis now, what, what do I do? And I can't move for real. Why, why does it happen when you're, you, you, you're, you're sleeping? Why doesn't it happen that I can't move? It has never happened that I can't move when I'm, uh, when I'm awake. No matter what happens, I've seen strange things when I was awake, and, 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 uh, but I was still able to move. But when you're having sleep paralysis, you, you, you just can't move. And we want to say, we want to say, no, nah, it's, it's just, you know, some neurological disorder or whatever. Like, nah, chill. Let's, let's be as honest as possible. Sometimes we hear loud bangs. <laughs> you, you hear a loud bang. And you're like... Yeah, what do they call that? Because... Uh, you know, uh, exploding head syndrome. Like, I've experienced that a lot where I hear a loud bang. Or like a voice, and it will wake me up, and I'll know that I didn't hear it in my mind, like I actually heard it. But what I'm trying to say to you is that things ain't what they seem, so you always gotta keep an open mind. You stop trying to be like intelligent in ways that in ways that dissimulation wants you to be. Right. You try to come up with explanations that you've been given by this, the, this simulation for things that happen. Try to investigate reality yourself. If you end up concluding what you know, those who came before you concluded, that's fine. But if what you conclude isn't what they concluded, then you have to trust yourself. Because who who should you trust? Like if you really think about it, who should you trust? Who can really tell you what this is? It's you who has to decide what this is. It's you who has to decide what actually makes sense when you look at reality. If you're going to rely on other people in a world that you don't understand at all, It'll be very easy to manipulate because you, you don't understand what this is, right? Maybe it's a simulation where you are the only one. You don't know that. I mean, how do you know that you're not in a simulation where you're the only one that's actually conscious? So you give your power away to tell you, people tell you what they, they are programmed to tell you and you believe them and you never wake up. That's what I'm saying. You must trust yourself because you... You, you, you're you only sure of your your own um, existence, you know, your own, your own mind. So there needs to be honesty when you are dealing with reality. Thank you, guys.